While in search of the ghost of the headless man, YouTube team KBC Cazadores de Fantasmas encounters some unexplained activity. As they're touring the haunted area, they hear strange sounds. Later, while communicating through the spirit box, they see the gate close on its own. <laughs> then, down by the water, they spot something unusual on the opposite bank. Here it is again. What made an appearance on the riverbank? Was it the same entity that opened the gate? I can't be sure, but I am impressed by what the team has captured here. I think it calls for further investigation. Exploring with Danny is checking out the neighborhood and commenting about how deserted everything looks nowadays. He heads to a nearby park and is looking at the water when he senses something scary in the woods nearby. Hello? Whoa! Hello? Hello? This mysterious figure in all white looks like some kind of zombie, or a witch, or at the very least a scary person up to no good. And there's also a mysterious red light glowing behind it that looks weird too. Danny runs from the strange encounter and realizes to his horror that he's being followed. Just when he thinks it's lost his trail, the maniac creature comes crawling at him at a really weird angle and speed that looks supernatural and really creepy. <sighs> But here it just looks like somebody crawling on their hands and knees, so maybe it's not paranormal after all. <laughs> Bob Osborne flies down a bumpy mountainous road in Bolivia. With little concern for his health or safety, the seven minute downhill race is filled with large rocks like this one. He navigates the obstacle just in time. Look how slow this van is driving. That's the appropriate speed for such a treacherous road, yet it's quickly passed. Keep in mind this vehicle could easily kick a rock straight into their dirt bike at any time and send them careening to their doom. They eventually make it to the bottom of the mountain still in one piece. I just hope Bob Osborne performs regular maintenance on his bike because this looks like the type of road that could snap a tire clean off at any time. The passed on must be transported to their final resting place and whether you realize it or not, sometimes you're traveling with them. Shared on Twitter by Mr. Creepy Posta, this scary video showing an apparent lifeless body in the cargo hold on a plane was originally posted on Reddit. The question is, why is this body not contained within a casket? Many in the comments are freaked out by this footage. Some refer to the 2008 Thai horror film Forbia, a film about the transportation of a princess's lifeless body by plane. This short clip, however, was not taken from the movie, and it's not clear if it's genuine or staged. I think it's real. What do you think? A YouTuber named Miguel Alvarez is racing down the road at high speeds for a very good reason. He catches up to a red car and immediately gets the driver's attention. Hey! It's on fire! It's on fire! Hey! 
The flames quickly crawl up the vehicle and soon reach the engine. What you see here is the end result just before firefighters arrived and contained the blaze. It looks bad, but things could have been way worse. The woman could have still been inside of this vehicle. If not for the heroic actions of Miguel Alvarez and his friends, a YouTuber named JMX decides to push himself to his absolute limits by taking one of the most extreme YouTube challenges yet. What are we going to be doing? We are going to be not drinking water for 48 hours. To be clear, this challenge includes not just abstaining from liquids, but also from any food products with water in them as well. Things are going okay at first, but after about 20 hours into the challenge, his thirst starts to get the better of him. JMX's voice becomes scratchy and his lips grow white and chapped. He said he feels confused and not like himself at all, and there are still more than 24 hours to go. Four hours to go till we're halfway, so we're 20 hours down, and yeah, I still kinda, kinda feel like, to be honest. I just, I honestly, I just, I, I wanna drink so bad. By the second day, he comes down with a bad cold and feels completely terrible. He does not look or sound like the same person we saw at the beginning of the video. Watch this part and tell me if you agree. Okay, we're about three hours away now. I honestly just want to <laughs> drink something. By hour 46, he feels like he might be in serious trouble, but he refuses to give up this far in. A friend makes him book a doctor's appointment, and JMX tries to finish the last two hours of the challenge under medical supervision. The doctors eventually force him to take in fluids through a needle before the 48 hours are up. JMX thinks that being given fluids through a needle does not count as breaking the challenge. Either way, I'm glad he experienced no long-lasting effects from this experiment. Alyssa the Explorer rents a cabin in the woods, one that apparently has an extra guest inside. This place is so cool, isn't it? Yeah. What the f- Somebody in there with you? Something scary passes by, a ghost in the window behind her, or perhaps some kind of hunched over figure in robes. I really hope this is computer effects, because if not, she needs to climb out that window fast. This mysterious capture by YouTuber Gullion Rocher leaves me with many questions. Rocher explains in the description that she saw this strange man outside her window marking a tree. <laughs> Meron siya pinapahid sa puno. Tago lang tayo onte. Meron Doberman. Ano yung ginagawa niya sa puno? Loko to ha. The man can be seen doing something to the tree for a time before grabbing his dog's leash. Anong plano mo? Anong inaano mo dyan sa puno ha? After the stranger left, the YouTuber went to investigate. So, yan yan. Ano yung ginawa niya kanina rito? It looks like the guy scraped the bark from one side of the tree, leaving a mark, but for what purpose is still unclear. I'm not sure where this video is filmed, but YouTuber BioCyber suggests that the strange man is a Russian sleeper agent marking a target. This is where my head went to, although I wasn't specifically thinking Russian. This may be a spy or agent marking this site for himself or other agents to later find. What do you think is going on here? As it turns out, nostalgia isn't always a good thing. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Hey There, You Are Okay, the Redditor explains, so I was going through my old 3DS photos for nostalgia. The reason why I'm posting on this sub is because I'm not for sure if I caught anything in the background. Do you think it's younger me being scared? The video clip shows an empty bedroom. As he starts to scan the room, the video captures a dark room beyond. It's hard to tell if there's a window in that room. However, something appears to move there, or at least a shadow is cast that mimics movements. The camera passes upward to the ceiling, and when it returns to the closet, the shadow and light has changed a bit. But it's the next time the camera pans from one side to the other that the real change occurs. Explain these unknowable shadows. What is going on here? Is there something or someone in that room? No wonder the Redditor was freaked out. 
This bizarre video was taken while exploring the woods of Amherst, Massachusetts, in a place that's known for witch sightings and strange ritualistic activity. Someone, perhaps a group, has carefully arranged branches into a makeshift hut. The leaves have mostly fallen off, but it's easy to see how this could have been some kind of shelter during the warmer months. Inside are hanging ornaments of twisted twigs bound together into strange symbols. These stones are all about the same size and have been laid at the base as part of a possible ritual. While further inspecting the hovel, they catch a strange figure running away from the hut into the woods at full speed, but they dare not pursue lest they want a hex placed on their head. A YouTube channel called Sanders Fam has a bizarre sighting on their Tesla motion tracking equipment that they think is a paranormal ghost encounter. The dash icon displays a mysterious figure where none is to be found. Detecting invisible people is something their car has never done before and is quite an odd coincidence considering they're passing through a cemetery at the time. It accurately detects two people a good distance away at 3 minutes and 39 seconds. It keeps happening on the same corner of the same block, the icon of someone riding a bike dashing away from them. There it is. They are getting creeped out and wonder what it is. That's when they realize around the corner is the final resting place of a YouTuber named Corey Lavery. They talk about him for a while and then as they drive away, there's nobody what? there. Now he's walking that way. Something walks by his grave. Now that is certainly a strange series of events. A paranormal channel called Love to Investigate has one of the creepiest ghost videos ever. A sighting that looks real and must have been terrifying for them to have caught on camera. I don't like looking behind shower curtains, that just creeps me right out. The bathroom again. The That's pretty cool, Alice. They are exploring a haunted mental asylum when the spirit of a former patient glares at them from the hallway. When they look up, it's leaving as she makes a comment about the smell. That's pretty cool, Alice. It smells like an hospital in this part, definitely. The apparition has long black braids and wears a long dress that women had to wear at the mental asylum long ago. The paranormal investigator later comments that they had no idea they were being watched by the supernatural at the time. Had they known, they would have ran away in the opposite direction. This entry involves a series of videos revealing a web of industrial looking tunnels that weave beneath the campus of Northern Arizona University. The uploader states that in October of 2018, he only reached the bottom of the stairs but recently decided to venture further. In close granddad writes, NAU was almost established as an insane asylum back in the mid 1890s and rumor has it that these tunnels would have been part of that. He shares a link which notes that the building was first built as a reform school for Arizona's so-called vicious youth. It's unclear why it remained empty for years upon completion. That's when, as Grandad mentioned, an insane asylum was proposed by the territorial legislature. For some reason, that wasn't followed through either. What isn't made clear is this short historical literature is when the tunnels were built and for what purpose. The recorder guides us through the dark tunnels, writing, I came across pathways that I could have potentially crawled, shimmied through, but chose not to because, one, they seemed a bit dangerously cramped at points, and two, I didn't want to spend too much time down there. I don't know how much farther these tunnels go until we find out what those tunnels were used for. The mystery may just be enough to haunt you. A YouTube channel called Abandoned Exploring has been putting out exploration videos of haunted places since 2015. Then one year they mysteriously stopped. This is the last video on their channel. March 17th, 2019 is when Mike and Hudson Flo of Abandoned Exploring go to a collection of abandoned buildings in the woods at night to see if there's anything scary. 
Steel workers used to live here because there is an old haunted mill nearby. No one is supposed to go in, but people have spray painted the walls and disrespected the place, probably stirring up a ghost or two in the process. A stuffed dog is on the ground and it looks like somebody got snatched out of their shoe. Bro. Yo, I it's thought that was fake. Yo. It's a fake dog, but that scared the out of me. Yo, that looks real. Oh my god. It's over all these shoes. In the back, they find ropes that are too low to have been used on an adult. Gotcha. Look at these ropes. I hope those aren't nooses. Weird lights follow them as they wander back into the forest. They look like fireflies, but March is not the right time of year for them. <coughs> Man, I'm trying to clear my throat, guys. My bad. Yeah, no. It's a little job. Damn, this thing looks kind of big, bro. Notice how the last light is red. No towers are out here. Nothing out here has any power. A minute later, they find a second building surrounded by decaying trees as if nothing is able to grow here. Gotta be away in somewhere. Maybe in the front. Oh, look at this, bro. This could be an uncovered grave, a secret entrance, or just a maintenance tunnel. They decide not to climb down and eventually find another way in. Inside is a floor lined with chemical vats. He climbs one of them and inside is a green liquid substance that looks highly toxic, especially after all these years. Another mysterious light shines down on them with no discernible source, and then they hear something I've never heard in any other ghost hunting video. It's pretty big that way. It looks a little flooded back there, though. What? What the f***? It's like 10 o'clock. What would be making that noise? A song meant for remembering those who have fallen fills the room. When they go to see if anything's over there, their camera records a devilish EVP. Oh, don't step right there, bro. They split up to search two rooms. The spirit seems to be playing games with them. Okay, there's there's a the room in here. Go this way. Go this way. It's not Mike. Mike's in a different room. Something else was behind Hudson Flo's shoulder. Back outside is another entrance. The room it leads to gives Mike a bad feeling, so he hangs outside. When Hudson goes in, something stops him. Hold on, real quick. It's coming from that way, bro. Coming from that way, I don't know. Tell me if this is a ghost or the wind. Here it is again. Hey bro. Come. And as they hold still, they spot something else watching them. What the f is that, bro? You wanna walk over there? You wanna walk over there? Mm. We've been seeing lights this whole time, but here's when they first notice. Oh my god, bro, I just I see two eyes, bro. Bro, I see two eyes. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, look right there, look right there. Yeah, you see those two eyes? They run back to their car and can still see and hear whatever's following them. It's in the car, maybe those around us. Yeah, hear them. Oh, they're right there. Open this I've never been in that much fear. After a minute, they realize they are still being followed. There you are. See the eyes? Yeah. Look at those eyes. You guys can see those eyes in the woods right there. It's been over a year with no new uploads, and people are starting to wonder. 
Peel Your Eyes Back for This One, published by Kisa Weba in January of 2022. This scary video has been trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. The video was shared with Kisa Weba by a subscriber who said he'd found the footage on Reddit. The original poster claimed to have crossed paths with this mud monster on the way home one day. The footage shows a creepy female mud-like creature sitting in the middle of a dirt road. The mysterious creature has long arms with a peculiar appendage where the hand should be. The hand features long, gumby-like fingers that appear to contract as the cameraman walks toward her. The figure's back is also strangely indented. It looks as if parts of the figure are blurred out for discretion, but as the cameraman walks toward her, the other hand reaches over, revealing the same elongated fingers as the first. There also appears to be a trail several feet down the road, dragged by the figure but it ends as if the creature dropped to the earth there from the middle of nowhere. What is this mud monster? And what exactly is she doing here? I guess we'll never know for sure. Something is terrorizing these poor pets. Originally posted to TikTok by El Otro Lado 21 a pair of pups are surprised by an unknown object being pulled or pushed across the ground. The security footage shows an item roll across the floor, seemingly on its own. Is it being dragged? Is it being rolled? By whom? One dog moves from his seat on the couch, while the other merely lifts his head as the object rolls before following his friend's lead. Is a human playing a trick on these animals? Or is it a phantom? Derek Desso Daly finds himself in a darkened cemetery on a 24-hour challenge with some friends. There's only some basic snacks and a small flashlight to split between the three of them, but they feel confident nothing serious will happen. Derek barely gets into the cemetery, and already he hears strange sounds that I don't think can easily be faked. I know that I don't see anything past this room. What was that sound? Hey man, there's somebody walking right there, bro. Where? Derek claims to see someone off in the distance, though I personally don't see anything. Still, he turns off his flashlight and quietly walks away to avoid detection. Other than that, nothing else happens until around 3 a.m., at which point the strange sounds return, even louder this time. Board, yeah. yeah, we have a Ouija board and we have a. Oh, Yo, oh. They start playing with the homemade Ouija board and think they see something move in the trees. Then they think they hear footsteps. It's hard to say if they are just being paranoid or really experiencing something paranormal since nothing special is caught on camera. Later though, when they begin chanting a spell to speak with any nearby spirits, I can definitely hear what they are talking about. Eventually, one of them gets separated from the group and is covered in red when he returns. He claims to have fallen, but something about his story sounds off. Ah, what happened? Something fell. Something falling on its own seems quite unlikely, making the claim of paranormal activity even more plausible. A father and son ghost hunting team are at an old graveyard somewhere in the south. They stumble upon a child's tombstone and get to work. The son attempts to communicate with the passed on child by planting an old pinwheel in the ground. If there's a child out here that wants to play with this toy, feel free to make it move. The father says that there is absolutely no wind on this night, so the pinwheel should not be able to move. To prove there is no wind, he records a tall blade of grass next to the tombstone and clearly shows that it's not moving. This child's gravestone is from the late 1800s. Pinwheels were probably very popular during this time. 
so it makes sense that the spirit would be excited and ready to play. Something is worth exploring with Tom as he checks out an abandoned mansion that isn't so empty after all. Noises make him want to run away screaming for help, but he also wants to make longer YouTube videos than he normally does, so he pushes onwards. Uh, I'm hoping no one's in here. No one's definitely gonna be in here, so I guess I'll be fine. But what the f Tom doesn't know what to think when a clown walks out and casually turns down the hall without a single glance his way. The clown begins to rock in place, and exploring with Tom actually starts to feel bad for him, which makes no sense in my opinion, because almost no one would approach a stranger dressed as a clown in a busted mansion. Instead of running away to get help, he decides to offer the clown help himself. He never does actually dial a number, another reason this could be fake. If I call the police for you, you're gonna get some help, okay? You're gonna get some help? I'm gonna call the police for you right now, okay? Suddenly, the clown snaps back to reality and rejects Tom's help with a look that makes him take off. Yo! Yo, I'm gonna help you! In my opinion, this final response is what he should have done all along. This campus is home to a fixture called the Ghost Lamp, a light with a life of its own. According to legend, a young woman who attended the college took her life when she was kicked out. The woman's soul remains in this light. None of the other lights in this area flicker like this. Redditor Hyperpain thought it was bull until his brother took him there, and then this happened. There he goes. Up. Can you turn on full bright for my friend Regan? Oh, hi. There it is. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? <laughs> That's, it does that. That's what it does. Okay. See? It seems to respond to their request, but does that mean it's paranormally activated? An electrician and a priest weigh in in the comments. Well, I guess that settles it. The ghost's soul must have some faulty wiring. Don't invite a witch to your birthday party. They aren't the best gift givers. Published by Scary Girl in June of 2020. This CCTV footage is about to give you chills. The residents of this home had been finding strange things outside on their front steps delivered to them in the middle of the night, including lifeless animals. Could it be a cat leaving presents? The residents installed security cameras, and in March of 2015 at around 3 in the morning, these cameras captured a figure hobbling toward their front steps from a distance. The figure looked like an old woman in a dress. The woman bends down and places the object on the front steps and then hurries away. Another camera captures her walking off. In the morning, the family found a crow missing its head on their doorstep. So the question is, why did this witch leave a headless crow for the family? Is it part of a curse? I can't imagine the answer is anything good. A ghost was in our courtroom, writes a government employee in the description of this video. She is investigating a ghost sighting caught on CCTV video and comes to this paranormal conclusion. We have a ghost in the jail. I love to call ghost orbs. They disappear and reappear. She noticed some time ago that ghost orbs seem to always gather in this spot at around 5 or 6 in the morning. I was ready to dismiss this alleged ghost sighting as particles of dust, but then at one minute of the video this large white object is caught moving on camera and it looks roughly the size of someone's head. So maybe this is an apparition after all, although I think it might simply be dust from an AC vent that turns on at the same time every morning. Anyway, if they ever post any more CCTV video of the ghost in the courtroom, I'll be sure to give a further analysis because this is pretty creepy. This video stands as a clear warning to always verify who is at your door before you answer it. This ring video was originally posted to TikTok by Wynn's Home Awareness. The video shows a man wearing a hood approaching the door of this residence. It's nighttime. He rings the doorbell and when the homeowner opens it, the man immediately enters without asking. It's clear he is a stranger. When the homeowner tells the man he needs to leave, the intruder starts stammering incomprehensibly. Who are you? Everybody knows. How are you? You need to leave. How are you? 
The homeowner has to physically grab the man's arm and shove him outside. As he slams the door shut, the man starts pounding on it. What? What the? That's all the stairs here. Come on, where are you going? What's the stairs here? Goodbye. Even though he's now locked out, the intruder stands on the front step looking in. He tries the handle several times, just waiting there. What are this man's intentions? We can only guess, but I'd wager they aren't good. Skiers beware. Sometimes the snowbank is deeper than it appears. Posted to Instagram by Chris J. Fish, this GoPro video shows viewers what it's like to avalanche yourself. The skier is seen traveling over a snowy hill between two trees followed by some rocky crags. After overtaking the rocks, he immediately drops feet down into the snow. He is seen frantically trying to dig himself out. After what seems like an eternity, he spots a glimmer of sky above, as someone on the surface is also digging frantically to pull him to safety. Chris says this is the first time he's been completely buried. He writes in the comments, I started to panic a bit as soon as I inhaled a whole bunch of snow. My entire throat and mouth were full and definitely had a bit in my lungs. He goes on to explain that his friend was staged nearby to rescue him if this happened which anyone who's skiing across unknown territory should do. Did this scary event stop him from future skiing? Nope. He writes that as soon as his breathing returned, he was off again. Chris asked if we would include this PSA. He writes, The rule to dropping from big cliffs into bottomless powder. Have someone close by to dig you out if you get buried. I'm thinking I'll stick to the bunny hill. A YouTuber named Advil thinks he is alone until he hears voices off in the distance. He soon finds himself drawn to the stairs leading down into the basement for reasons he cannot explain. Something just feels out of place down there, but he isn't sure what. He calls out and gets an incredibly strange and eerie reply from the darkness below. Maybe if you are wearing headphones, you can tell me what is being said here. It almost sounds like they are whispering, he's here. Hello? Moments later, Advil receives an undeniable confirmation that something is in the house with him. A dark figure somehow stands out against the pitch black background as it crosses the doorway. It makes no attempt to go up the steps and reveal its true form. If this is real, then whatever is down there apparently wants to stay down there and possibly one day take Advil with him. Michael Endurez is in a car full of friends when they hear a distant voice call out from the nearby woods. <laughs> I didn't really hear much the first time I watched, but when they slow it down, you can clearly hear someone say something like, Help me, guys. I think this could be paranormal, because it doesn't sound like a normal human voice at all. Theoretically speaking, a person screaming at a speeding car with the windows rolled up would almost certainly not be heard by anybody inside. An urban exploration channel called JJ Retro is exploring an abandoned house on the edge of an English village late at night. You can tell he's nervous just standing at the entrance of this creepy estate. It's time to come exploring somewhere like this because we're in the middle of nowhere um, on the outskirts of Slinfold at this rather creepy house and uh, there's a sort of haunted feel to it. Outside, they find a spooky tree with a rope slung over the branch and a plank of wood to step off of. I don't think we need to spend much time explaining what kind of scary events happened here. And when they start exploring the inside, every room fills them with a renewed sense of dread. Yeah, this, this is creepy. This is probably the creepiest building we've done so far in our urban exploring. 
They try to joke their way out of how scary this urban exploration is, but eventually they have to admit they are getting spooked by something paranormal in the house with them. Weird noises are coming from upstairs, or so they say, but to be honest, I don't hear anything. But as they slowly creep up the stairs, I can actually hear the weird sound, and that's when they get it. The creepy encounter caught on camera that they were all looking for. No. No. Hello? And that's when, with all of them on the steps, mind you, the urban explorers see a rocking chair moving on its own. Since part of the chair is hidden by the doorway, maybe somebody was off camera making the chair move. Otherwise, this place is definitely haunted. It turns out public buses are rife with incidents of alleged possessed people. This one turned up in San Luis, Argentina on June 7, 2016. A woman sits with her eyes closed, her head rolling around at random, and her mouth opening and closing. She is jerking all over, not once opening her eyes, and a terrible sound is heard at times coming from her mouth. What she is saying, if anything, is indiscernible. She continues jerking around, looking quite possessed, until a man walks forward and shakes her shoulder, attempting to bring her back around. The man says something to her, and she shouts back in her scratchy, possessed voice. He places his hand on her forehead, and that's where the footage ends. Was he attempting an exorcism? Was he doing something more sinister? It seems we'll never know. Alan Kloss likes cars, but beyond that, he also likes exploring abandoned places that are creepy, really creepy. One such exploration takes place at a bridge in Walnutport, Pennsylvania, where a woman in white fell into the canal and did not come out alive. Notice how at 3 minutes and 37 seconds, the camera refuses to focus on the bridge, a sign of the supernatural, some would say. They move their ghost hunting equipment to the edge of the water and get a strong paranormal response. The flashlight turns on by itself and they use two different pieces of paranormal equipment to independently verify the presence of something supernatural there with them. This seems like it could be the exact location where she went under. Look, I st all right, stopped back here. And judging by the way his ghost meter goes crazy here at 37 minutes and 34 seconds, I'd say this is either an underground utility wire or the place where she was laid to rest. Red, orange, orange, orange. Is it red? Yeah. He actually hit red. Orange, red, 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 wow. red. Oh my. What do you think they've discovered? Is there someone hiding out of sight in this wreckage? Published by PH Red Fox, Yoon Sai Won is exploring an abandoned house in Korea when he hears this sound. Hello. Is it an animal? A dog? He breaks out his EMF meter, which starts going haywire. He says it's not useful here because they're at the location's deepest point. Using facial recognition software, a scary face is recognized where there seems to be no one. It's recognized again, closer to him this time. Oh. 
Later, while using a spirit box, Saiwan gets the fright of his life. A bang is heard coming from someone unseen. A short while later, he is visited again by the spirit. <laughs> but he sees nothing, and no one amongst the mass. Is Saiwan being stalked? And if so, by what? Basements are where hidden secrets are kept in the dark, old memories and keepsakes of things that are too scary for the surface and would get you some strange looks. Basements often serve as a place for troubled minds to explore the scariest facets of the human imagination. A YouTuber named Jonathan Wickholm goes exploring the basement of his girlfriend's apartment building because it's creepy and old, and he suspects scary stuff is down there. He's not wrong. So James agreed, the moment you walk in this room, it's creepy. It makes no sense. Over by James, there's a random stool and a microwave that, is it plugged in? No. Okay. So, it gets weirder. In the center of the room is a large cedar wood box. On the outside is a door that unlocks only from the outside. Sticking out the top of the mysterious nondescript box is a pipe for giving someone air. And when he opens it... This is what it is. It is a small room with chairs, it's nothing else. He finds a small hidden room where someone can be kept secret down here without anyone going down to find them for a long time. What was being kept down here? I fear I already know the answer. James, look at this, James, look at this. There's scratch marks. There are legit scratch marks. There are f***ing scratch marks. Drilled into the ceiling of the secret prison place are holes that look like they were put there for further ventilation. Have you ever heard your loved one's voice coming from another world? Posted to TikTok by Geovan Lima, this creepy video will catch you off guard. The man recording hears a woman's voice which he identifies as his girlfriend's coming from around the corner, but he turns to find her asleep next to him. He writes that they were alone at the time, so who or what is trying to lure him into another room? Is this one of those demon spirits? I think that's a strong possibility. Next time you're confronted by voices in a haunted house, you should probably just skip town. Redditor Alex underscore Paranormal TV posted the scary paranormal investigation to the Chills Narrator subreddit. It was originally posted on YouTube in February of 2020. The house being explored is a Coal Harbor house in London. As Alex Paranormal explains, we investigate the Cold Harbor house that no one wants to live in because of the extreme activity and what resides inside the Shadow Man. The exploration turns up loads of paranormal activity. At 8.53 in the video, Alex mumbles something as they're exploring, to which a disembodied voice answers, yeah. A little later, after setting up the spirit box, it either moves or falls over on its own at 16 minutes 7 seconds. Well, it's going through stuff, mate. Do you smoke that? Oh, man. It's not the mic on the deck. Who are you? A short time after, at 16 minutes 55 seconds, an evil laugh occurs as the team attempts to speak with the spirits. Is this your room? Where are you? The laughter occurs again at around 22 minutes 9 seconds. <laughs> and at 22 minutes 49 seconds, a grunt can be heard. You just grunt then? Who was that? Was that you? As they're talking about the grunt, a very audible knock sounds on the adjacent door at 23 minutes 35 seconds. 
They continue to explore the haunted house. While they're in a hallway, about to enter another room, a door slams at 26 minutes 55 seconds. Oh, hold on. Is that you? No. Continuing in their exploration after a while, they discover an old Tonka truck in a room. When one guy asks if that's an old Tonka toy, a disembodied voice at 31 minutes 52 seconds answers, Yeah. Look at that. That's an old Tonka toy, isn't it? What is? A number of other disembodied voices are noted throughout the video, as if the house was whispering a secret to them. If only they'd just listen. What was it trying to tell them? And what would you do in a house that talks to you? I'd just move out. Here's a video that shows how Randonautica can be scary without even trying. A YouTuber named Nolan goes randonauting with his friends in search of the color orange. The app takes them to two orange cones, no problem. Do you see that? Cones. Orange cones. <gasps> no Whoa. way. They are weirded out but not entirely convinced, so they decide to go rando nodding for something more obscure that would be creepier to find, like the number four. So we're doing a number? Yeah, okay. So four. Not only do they find the number four prominently etched into a concrete handrail, but get this. The location that's given to them to find the number four. It's four minutes away. Is exactly four minutes away. Now they are getting creeped out and concentrate on a color that's hard to find in the countryside at night. The color blue. Not only does Randonautica take them to a pack of blue gum, when they go back to their car, they find out they were parked by an empty energy drink with blue lettering this whole time. A YouTuber called Survival Life tracks a gigantic snake across his local soccer field. I'm guessing that he must have been using a selfie stick to get this up close. But then again, it wouldn't surprise me if his hands and fingers were only inches away when this happened. Eventually, survival life backs off and leaves the snake alone, and I'm curious as to what kind of snake this was. I can tell by the tropical tree line that this video was taken somewhere near a jungle, in which case this snake could definitely be poisonous. Some of survival life's fans are saying that this was a cobra, and I just wanted to confirm what type of cobra this was. That way, we would know if survival life was risking a hospital trip or even his life here. What would you do if a poltergeist became more and more aggressive? Published by D-Dog Michael in January of 2022, this scary video follows this paranormal explorer through an abandoned building. Michael first encounters some unsettling sounds like bottles trembling. He thinks it's just the wind at first, but the sound becomes louder and more aggressive. This makes them run back downstairs. As they continue to explore, a window panel slides open, and later he hears regular banging noises in the hallway. When he goes to investigate, the banging noises get louder and more frequent. As he approaches a door, he asks the spirit if he can go in and look around, but the spirit seems to answer in the negative. He runs off but returns to the same door, and as he's reaching toward the knob, he hears something inside. Finally, inside the room, there doesn't appear to be anyone around, but he hears another sound. <laughs> Out in the hallway again, he reaches for a second door, and a loud noise is heard behind him. <laughs> Later, he is in a dark bathroom when chaos again breaks out behind him. He continues into a bedroom, and then he sees this shape in the window. 
Ano otur abi şey. Michael decides it's time to leave this place before whatever haunts it won't let him go. A YouTuber named Deji has a creepy new neighbor who has been acting strange ever since they first moved in not too long ago. Despite having a very private gated entrance, the neighbor actually sneaks over his wall and says hello as if this behavior was normal. Are you, is it, are you actually for real? I mean, this is the stop. She says something about wanting to see his dog, but Deji quickly interrupts to set his neighbor straight. I don't understand what she says at the end while reaching out to him, so let me know if you can make it out. Yeah, cool, 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 yeah, yeah, dog, yeah? cool, cool. Uh, go, no. back, go back the way you can. De Deji? No. Go, go back the way you can. Overall, it's hard to tell if she is socially awkward at times or mentally unstable. Either way, Deji sends the neighbor climbing back over his wall. I think he handled the situation appropriately, but let me know what you think. A YouTuber named Elton Minea Severo is recording a webcam video. When a phone call interrupts him, it looks like he might sense that something is nearby when he is talking, but he is too distracted by the conversation to give it much more than a moment's thought. As soon as he hangs up the phone, a white moon-shaped face peeks in from around the corner. It surveys the room for a bit before ducking down and leaping out of sight when Elton turns around, at which point you can momentarily see some kind of weird body with short arms and legs. There is a chance that all of this could be edited, but before you immediately think this is fake, keep in mind that it was recorded in 2006, so pretty much all webcam videos looked grainy like this. If anything, this was a pretty high quality video for its time, especially considering YouTube was less than two years old when it was uploaded, so who knows what it could have been. There's a YouTuber named Anonymous Web who's developed a scary habit, the need to buy scary things off of the deep web. His channel has only been around for a few months, and already he's gotten himself into more trouble than he was expecting, but more on that in a second. First, let's go over some of his most recent buys. On March 7, 2020, a deep web package arrives after a three-week wait. Anonymous Web had already given up hope that he would ever get it and figured he had been ripped off. Seeing it in person fills him with unexplainable dread before he even opens it because he had ordered it from a website about witchcraft and demonology. Inside is a colorful doll with a dark message. Pins are stuck in its feet, face, and forehead. A yellow page appears to be instructions to do some sort of ritual. Here are the steps. First, he sprinkles some kind of black ash around the doll in a circle. Tell me if this looks like someone's cremated remains. Next, he puts the candles on both sides of the doll. The lighter that came in the box doesn't work, so he gets up to find another one. And at 17 minutes and 35 seconds, something happens. The doll appears to move ever so slightly. If this was someone's remains, then maybe he transferred their life into the doll. Anonymous Web doesn't think much of it until he gets another potentially possessed Dark Web doll on May 16, 2020. He buys the box from the same person, which doesn't make sense if he thinks the first one didn't work. But maybe he saw the part where it moved and bought one more. The doll has a male symbol on its forehead, to the right of which is a triangle, perhaps an all-seeing pyramid eye, with black spikes pushed through. Holes are drilled in the mouth to form a wicked smile. A burnt letter is soaked in something. It reads, In night I seek, in dark I breathe, and if you say its name twice, the curse is said to end your life. Its name is Ken Ken. You're only supposed to say it twice, but Anonymous Web says it three times just to be sure. I'm going to Ken, 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 Ken. A big mistake he later regrets. Ken. Ooh. It looks like he uses one of the candles to set the doll's dress aflame. You can hear him pick up a candle and slam it down really fast. But look again, there's no candle where his free hand is. He even puts paper down where the candle would theoretically have to be. 
There are only two candles within reach, these two, and he clearly doesn't touch either of them when the doll goes up in flames. The reason why I've shown you these two videos is to better explain the third. On June 2nd, 2020, exactly 13 days after releasing the curse of the previous doll, something began rummaging around his bedroom from 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. It starts around his dresser. Then it moves to the far wall. After pulling on the doorknob with all its strength, it sounds exhausted afterwards and can't get free. After a long time, it returns to stomp across the room. And later that night, it gets out. So this would be terrifying if it was real, but I'm not sure if it's fake. I think he could have been standing behind the dresser and pushed the flowers over himself. Likewise, he could have reached around and opened the drawers himself. The footsteps and exhale would have been his own. He could have touched the bed himself off camera to make it squeak, but I don't know how he moved the picture. That's really strange. And then there's the very end when he comes back into the room and sees his room is messed up. Yeah, f you. Someone could have shut off the camera from the bottom, but at 2 minutes and 7 seconds, you can see the entire doorway immediately after it happens, and no one is there. Ryan Layton records what he says is a full bodied apparition jumping over the table in his apartment. At two minutes, there is a loud noise and some kind of pale, ghost-like figure appears in front of the camera. But is it paranormal or something else is the question. The webcam is low quality and skipping frames, so this could simply be somebody shining a flashlight directly at it to create the illusion of a ghost. Let me know what you make of this video, because to me it's kind of hard to tell if this video is supernatural or nothing special. A ghost has no use for a haircut, but apparently that doesn't stop one from haunting a famous barber shop called GQ Cuts in La Puente, California. Caught on security cam is a ghostly guest slipping under a blue gown. Everyone, even the woman getting her hair cut, is nervously looking at the chair, waiting for it to move again, which it doesn't. But hold on, nobody sees the scariest moment of all on the shelf above them. A creepy mannequin head turns towards him while he tries to tell everyone what he saw. Thankfully, the moving objects were caught on tape to prove him right. Then again, it could be this fan on full speed that's blowing objects around. A YouTuber named Saltwater Sean is exploring underwater in Lower Prospect, Nova Scotia, Canada, when he makes a startling discovery that has him holding back a frightened scream. Dolls, freaky ones. He can hardly stand looking at these dolls long enough to capture them on video. I think I might see them moving ever so slightly, but it could be the wind that's moving the dolls. We've got these two super creepy dolls that scared me underwater <laughs> when I found the first, that one on the right there. That really kind of gave me a scare. I probably unearthed an ancient curse or something Sean writes in the description of this scary video. Judging by the evil stare of these two pale, creepy dolls, 
one with red eyes and the others being jet black. I think he could be correct about that curse. Somebody probably threw them in the water for a reason is all I'm saying. This footage comes from Vietnam, where all sorts of strange creatures are rumored to still roam free through the wild and unconquered forests. This stuffed humanoid in particular has been deceased for quite some time, possibly for decades, and now looks discolored and slowly falling apart. It appears to be half man, half snake. Long blonde hair grows from its human-like head, which is furry all over yet also covered in straw blonde facial hair. Two rodent-like arms stick out from its fur-covered upper body. Its face looks like a cross between a man and an ape. The nose looks like it belongs to a primate, but the gray lifeless eyes and smirking mouth look like they could belong to a person. Its scaly lower half looks exactly like a snake's. Watching this thing in action must have been a terrible and shocking sight. How such a creature could come to be is unexplainable, yet here it is. Perhaps there are even more of them out in the wild. Imagine running into this creature in a dark rainforest at night. YouTuber Only Menopore Collection Sap posted this creepy video in July of 2019. Adorned in white with pale skin and black hair, this forest dweller is the thing of horror movies. One of the brave men approaches it, his hand upheld in full view in an attempt to pacify the figure. As he closes in on her, the figure just stands, its head wagging side to side slightly. Then suddenly it sinks to the ground, vanishing from view. Later in the video, they come across some other forest being. This one dressed in white. Again, the man approaches it as it stands in place. Then it too vanishes from view. What are these ghouls of the forest? Are they good or evil? And what is their motive? These are questions better left unanswered. Is he on the stairs? Is he standing there? Yes. Where? That's the reaction of a YouTuber's daughter when asked to identify the man on the stairs. Her mom is very curious and wants to know more about what her daughter thinks she is seeing. Where's the man? Where? Man. Show mama where's the man. Man stares, her daughter says in a tiny British accent. It would almost be cute if the paranormal implications weren't so terrifying. After all, she is talking about being watched by a stranger in their own living room. As the video continues, you can tell the girl becomes more afraid to look up from her toys. She obviously does not want to see the man by the stairs anymore. Though I have no idea what he looks like or what he's doing, the girl does not seem to be smiling or showing any other signs of making up a story, so I am inclined to believe this potential ghost sighting could be real. Let me know if you agree or not. Working from home has its perks, but this might deter some. Posted to the very spooky video subreddit by External Tangents, this redditor was home on a gloomy day when he heard some strange noises. At his door, the noise sounds like distant clicking. He opens his hallway door to investigate. Out in the hallway, you can hear whining and slamming. It sounds like it's coming from upstairs. Then as he looks up to find an outside door open, it clanks loudly. He's found the culprit. At the top of the stairs, the exit door to the roof is open. Heading out onto the roof, he finds no one there. Although the mystery is solved, some think it's odd that the exit alarm isn't blaring. They also find the sounds and visuals quite spooky. If you heard this while you were alone in your apartment, would you have the nerve to investigate? I'd be looking for a new place to live. This video, taken in Lottie, Florida, shows two mysterious government vehicles sticking close together as they head to an undisclosed location. 
No identifying information is written on the side of the trucks. The first truck has red and blue lights on the top, but the one behind it doesn't have any markings at all and could easily be mistaken for a civilian vehicle to the untrained eye. Both trucks are covered in thick armor, and each one has enough room in the back to serve as a mobile command station of some kind. Though for what purpose I can't say, people in the comments section of this video are suggesting everything from hazardous waste cleanup to mind control operations. One of the more convincing comments states that these trucks only are seen when a serious threat to national security is detected, like a nuclear device or worse. Again, I don't know what these vehicles are for, but if I saw one in my neighborhood, I would be worried, let alone seeing two. An instructor records himself and his students for a teacher evaluation. He's giving a lecture about safety when some strange activities start to happen. About, about what dangers might we go into. Stephen, don't do that, please. It's distracting. That's one thing. Someone give me another one, then. Strangers. Please. I'll just move down as well. Right, what we're going to do, we, uh, we need to, uh, I, t I tell you what guys, um, let's, let's just go out for a minute. Um. By now the class is in mild shock as they awkwardly line up and leave. According to the description of this video, later on they would say that they felt a strange static electricity in the air and a tingling sensation in their faces. After they leave, the possible haunting seems to continue for quite some time. Finally, the camera is knocked to the ground by an unseen force and the video ends. A paranormal photo from Gary, Indiana seems to have caught something strange on camera. The silhouette of a ghostly figure that seems intent on burning down the house that it's been caught in for years. Even the comments seem ominous with one person simply writing, I live right next to Gary, Indiana, and this isn't the first time something paranormal happened in that town. Almost like they're talking from experience. When somebody wants to know more stories, they never get a response. Almost like the person has already said too much stuff that outsiders were not supposed to hear. An abandoned school that served as a German headquarters a long time ago. A ghostly female apparition spotted in the window. This dilapidated site is ripe for exploration. Originally published by Dark Ghost Paranormal, this scary video follows Dennis as he takes on the challenge. Using a spirit box, Dennis tries to find out what is going on here. The spirit box immediately informs him that a spirit is here. She says that he doesn't know her. After asking if she burnt the place down, she answers in the affirmative. <laughs> She also says, they did it to me, they burned me. And Dennis is told they're in the basement, whoever they are. Dennis heads inside to have a look. After asking for a sign of the spirit's presence, he is given one. Down in the basement, he finds something like a bunker. While speaking with the spirits, a box makes a noise in the corner. His lights go out, and he hears mysterious knocks in the room. He tries the door at the end of the room, but it seems shut tight. When he asks the spirits through the spirit box what they want from him, they have a simple answer. After the spirits warn him to leave, and the lights go out again. Suddenly, he looks up to find the door open. He gathers his stuff and gets out of there in the nick of time. Another camera on the outside of the room captures the door opening on its own. Is this the spirit of whoever set fire to the lady in the window? Or is it the lady herself? A person with an interest in graveyards is casually filming when they accidentally pick up a bizarre and possibly dangerous watcher.
you can see a blurry shadow as it takes a few steps out from the other side of a wall, but the person recording doesn't seem to notice. It wasn't until much later that they reviewed the video and found the hidden lurker in the distance. I personally think that this could be CGI because the resolution of the video seems to have been lowered, which is always a sign of amateur effects. Then again, the person recording may have been using a cheap camera. Or maybe this is an older video. Whatever is keeping this family awake is worse than a nightmare. Published by AMA Media Channel in April of 2022, a woman is sleeping on a couch when strange things start to happen around her. A tricycle slowly wheels itself backward, then it launches forward taking a wide turn. It's so loud. What's most surprising is that the woman doesn't wake up. Next, one side of the couch that she's sleeping on is lifted completely off the ground. Now lying at a 45 degree angle, the woman only wakes up when the couch slams back down on the floor. It still takes her a moment to rise, even when the couch is lifted a second time. She then climbs off and runs away. The woman returns to the room with a male resident, explaining what happened. They don't arrive at any conclusion as to the cause, but the man lays down on the couch to rest. Not long after, a mysterious head appears close to the security camera. Later, as the man struggles to sleep, a creepy figure appears in the window. The faceless figure is wearing black gloves and seems to be trying to get in. The sleeping man spasms uncontrollably, but it's unclear what is going on. Is the creep in the window casting a spell of some kind? The figure disappears and then the couch starts to lift again, as it did with the woman who was sleeping there. The man falls off the couch, wakes up, and fires off. <laughs> He returns with a sword, but who will he battle? There's no one there. As he looks outside for his opponent, the faceless figure in the window greets him. What is this thing? As I said, it's worse than a nightmare. A YouTuber named Scaredy Cat thinks he saw a tall stranger rummaging around his property, so he goes into his house and grabs a phone to record with. He cautiously makes his way back to where he last spotted the intruder, and it isn't long before he finds him again. Actually, this time, it looks like Scaredy Cat is the one who is discovered instead of the other way around. So I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm going to try and capture it on tape now. Okay. <laughs> a humanoid creature appears to be staring directly at him while remaining completely motionless. Scaredy Cat goes running down the street screaming for his life. His reaction sounds pretty genuine, but I'm not sure if this was a real sighting or not. It almost looks like a mannequin that someone could have put out there as a joke. Maybe it could even be an impersonator, running around pretending to be the real thing. It just doesn't seem to be the right height to be Slenderman, though some legends say that the creature can change its height at will. The Camino de la Mirte, or Road of Fate, lies in Bolivia along a 50-mile, rocky, narrow downhill road. The pass is so dangerous that the Inter-American Development Bank deemed it the most dangerous in the world in 1995. Somewhere between 200 to 300 people perish each year on this road. In this video, a bus driver attempts to traverse it to his own detriment. The road, which had recently suffered heavy rain, was prone to landslides, making the crossing even riskier business than usual. After ordering his passengers off the bus for safety's sake, 
They watch in terror as the driver attempts to creep across a very shaky and crumbling stretch of sand and rock, one that should not be crossed. The passengers attempt to help guide him, with one man in the video moving forward to motion that the driver move further away from the edge. It appears as if the bus will be successful in completing this crossing. But suddenly, the ground crumbles beneath it, and the bus tips, falling over the cliff, through the trees, and down the mountain. While it's fortunate that the 50 passengers survived their devastating journey, sadly, their driver did not. Something is watching, but what that is, we don't know. TikToker Axel Loza Official shares this creepy video, captured in these boys' room at night. Two boys are seen sitting straight up in bed, staring at something. What are they looking at? Well, you're about to find out. A childlike face is peering out from a frosted closet window, but when the cameraman goes to open it up, this happens. Where did she go? While well, I would be hiding in the comments with everyone else, I'm going to check all my closets real quick first. A paranormal team led by Derek Reese sits around the old family room of a haunted house in an undisclosed location. One of them must be sensitive to spirits because he asks them if they feel anything and maybe he accidentally channels something into the room. Oh my God, You can see everyone except for one person when the knock happens, but her hands are in her lap under a pillow, so no, it's not her. Later on, they are looking at old videos when two visual artifacts appear. One is pink and one is green, and neither of them will go away no matter what they try. And that's when they hear creepy singing and a deep voice say something like, get away from the door. The audio is pretty low quality, but what do you hear? MKP Studios published this video in November 2017. According to the uploader, this mysterious clip had been sent to him under a weird email address with no message to accompany it. Usually, you're supposed to immediately delete such messages, but for some reason, the uploader clicked on the video and came across this eerie black and white footage of a drainage pipe at night. The uploader claims that he assumed the individual was sending him content to post on his channel, but when he messaged the person, he received no response. On the fourth message, the email account had been deleted. So what does this creepy footage entail? The video starts with the camera scanning an outdoor area along a road with a sewer drainage system. As the camera approaches the sewer, you can hear children's voices coming from within. The cameraman gets down on the ground and shoots right into the sewer, and at least three distinct voices are heard. <coughs> Two of the voices are a higher, childlike pitch. A third is growling, rasping, and doesn't sound like that of a child or even of an adult, more like that of a monster. The children are crying out as the voice hisses at them. They shout for help when the monster voice growls and hisses again. And then again, as the sound goes in and out, the cameraman for some reason abandons the children to this monster and leaves the sewer altogether. What is this? Were children just playing a game in the sewer? Or is something more sinister going on here? There is another option. This could simply be promotional material for the movie It, which came out around the same time as this video began circulating on the internet. 
Only these children know the truth, and unfortunately, they're unavailable to tell us. Aokihara, also known as the Sea of Trees, is an infamous Japanese forest. Well, there are certain areas that are so dense that a feeling of solitude exists there like nowhere else. Sound is also absorbed, allowing for a kind of quiet you've never heard. Yuri, ghosts of the past away from Japanese myths and legends reside in this forest. Needless to say, the place is grim, and it becomes even more grim when you bring a Ouija board and attempt to talk to the spirits. Brennan Taylor published this video in July of 2017, writing, we explored the forest to the depths of where normal hikers are not allowed to go. The things we saw changed us and we will never be the same. We decided it would be a good idea to play the Kakuri Sun, which is basically the Japanese equivalent to the Ouija board. First, the man filming asks the board if they're going to run into a body that night, and the board answers, four. Being that there were four members in the group, this response must have sent a chill up each of their spines. When asking the spirit if they should be in the forest, the spirit answers no. At one point, one of the crew notes that moths are a sign of the afterlife and they are all over the place, even landing on the board. They also notice scratch marks on a nearby tree, which seem to indicate that somebody clawed at it, in the shape of an X. They next ask the spirit if they'll find someone that very night. The answer, yes. When they finally decide to leave the forest, they've lost the coin that is used as a planchette. According to the Kakuri Sun, one of them must spend the coin within 24 hours of playing, or otherwise there's bad consequences. They backtrack to look for the coin, but the coin is never found. What will happen? Will they have 70 years of bad luck? It's hard to know for sure. All we do know is that they survived to tell the tale and post it on YouTube. A video that was posted to YouTube was brought to the attention of the Fijian police in 2015. The footage shows four men clinging to debris in the water, as men on a tuna fishing vessel fire shots towards them. While the YouTube description stated that the men in the water were Fijian, the Fiji Tuna Boat Owners Association president Graham Southwick claimed that the footage is from Somali pirates failing to hijack some Taiwanese fishing vessels in 2014. Police, however, continued to investigate the matter and could not uncover any clear identifying evidence of the men or the culprits. Apart from the fact that the men on the boat were speaking Mandarin, pirates are not, this is no way to lose your life. A YouTuber named RJFD gets a phone call from a friend, telling him to look at the sky. He goes outside and doesn't really see anything at first. It sounds like thousands of fireworks going off at once, but this is late at night in the middle of winter in small town Michigan, so that doesn't make sense. There were no fireworks planned at all. Then the entire sky changes color. What is that? If fireworks is truly not the answer, then the only other explanation I have is some sort of strange weather phenomenon. Let me know if you think you have a logical reason for what's going on here, because I'm really not sure and neither is anyone in the comments section of this video. 7 in the evening when some creepy CCTV video captures a person with their face covered walking up to a New Zealand home and letting themselves in. Exactly 2 minutes later, the intruder is caught on CCTV video exiting the property and walking much more cautiously than before. That's because cradled in her arms is an infant whose small tuft of black hair you can barely see at 40 seconds and again at one minute as she goes down the driveway. The person seems to be talking to the baby and taking special care to make sure it doesn't cry and alert the father who is sleeping inside. As it turns out, this person caught on tape is none other than a babysitter they've hired for the day. 
She later returns without the child and tells the father that somebody else had gotten into the house and took the child while she was asleep. When he checks the CCTV home security cameras, it's easy to see she is the one responsible. The babysitter was sentenced to three years behind bars for these bizarre videos and I was wondering if you thought that was enough based on the evidence. You can see she has plenty of time to put the child back, but she follows through without hesitation, not even a pause in her step or a look back to indicate a pang of guilt for the parents or the child. This is really messed up behavior and she could probably use a longer sentence in my opinion. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.